So with the introduction of 5.4, one of the big new things that's been added is a hugely extended inventory of event options. To be honest, we are barely scratching the surface of what I think we'll be able to achieve with events in the future. Um, at this point in time, we've got some really nice little features that just make programming the desk that much easier. So for example, if I, take, if I jump over to the boys level here, we're using the X and Y buttons to bring the faders up, mute and unmute, drop them in and out of reverb. So for example, this fader here at the moment is up, unmuted and in reverb. If I hit the Y button, it drops down, it mutes and it drops it out of any reverb. If I just select the channel here, you can see that this channel is no longer in vocal reverb. If we want to put this channel up and in a scene, I just hit the X button, drops the fader up to zero, unmutes it, and still makes sure that it's no longer in vocal reverb. If I want to add it to vocal reverb, I just hit the color button. You'll notice the color button started flashing and the channel is now in vocal reverb. Hit the button again and the channel is out of vocal reverb and this is no longer flashing. Gives me a quick glance. I can look across the desk, see who's in vocal reverb, see who isn't. If I want to take a few people out of a scene, I just hit the Y button and they disappear, come down and are muted. It seems like a small thing, but it's a, uh, it's a huge time saver when we're programming multiple radio mics and multiple DCAs. Indeed, over at 42nd Street, we have 70 radio mics. So the ability to mute and unmute those channels quickly, get the faders up and down um, by simply pressing a button, saves a huge amount of time. One of the long-term plans that we have, that we've been discussing with Avid, is the ability to have faders unmute and jump up when we assign them into DCAs, uh, which is gonna involve some more event stuff there's two ways of implementing this particular workflow. The easiest way to do it is to do it as an any strip trigger. What we've actually done is implement it on a channel by channel basis. Obviously this takes a little bit longer to set up, but in the general scheme of things, it might take 20 minutes, half an hour to program all of the relevant events to make this work. But actually the time saving, uh, particularly when you're under pressure, particularly when you've got 100 people waiting for you to finish programming a scene, it's time extremely well spent. So the way, for example, if I Take a look at this one. Hit the X button on the trigger. It sets the faders to zero, turns the mute off, and makes sure that both the auxiliary sends for vocal reverb one and vocal reverb two are off. If I have a look at a Y option, basically does the opposite. It takes the fader down to infinity, turns the mute on, and again, makes sure that we're switched out of vocal reverb in both cases. We then have the color buttons. The color buttons literally toggle on and off the vocal reverb. Then finally, we have another event that monitors whether or not the reverb is on and off and flashes the button. If auxiliary three is on, it flashes the color light for the channel that has the auxiliary three on. This enables us a very quick glance to look across the desk and see who's in and out of reverb, which when we're switching backwards and forwards between dialogue and singing, is quite an important thing to know at a glance. Another particularly useful trigger thing we've been doing, which I, I could see a use for in a number of different disciplines is that we have done use on the DCAs we've used the color button as a half second fade back to unity so you can literally reach over push the kick drum bring it back to roughly where you think is zero and as you move your hand away from the VCA to do something else you hit the button and it takes it back to zero for you that way you know that your faders have already gone back to unity so when you're quickly mixing on the fly you can reach over, push the reeds, give them, a, give them a big reed, blap, 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 come back to zero, roughly, and as you drag your hand away from the VCA, just hit the button, and it makes sure that you are actually back at Unity, having done whatever feature push you've got to do.